Well, there is nothing better than stepping on a new permission for the very first time. Well, welcome to Finding America. It is really great to see you here. Now, I'm gonna get right into this episode because I have a lot of finds to share with you from this past hunt. Well, Jason had gotten a new permission and invited me along. It was a house that was over 100 years old and it had an added bonus. It had never been metal detected before. Now, I have to say it started off a little bit slow, but once we found the hot spots in the yard, the finds came flying out of the ground. We really had a great time out there, and I really hope you enjoy watching this one. Well, I thought I'd give you all a look at the place that we're hunting. Jason got this permission, invited me along, and uh, he's working the front sidewalk over there. And we've got a nice side yard, corner lot. The house is very cool. Built either 1898 or 1900. And, uh, yeah, I've already got something over here. We just got started and uh, got a 13, 14 signal dug down. I got some type of Nicholas pendant and it's kind of cool. And we've stared and stared at it and we still can't figure out what it is. I think it's, I have no idea. <laughs> it's some kid's pendant, but neat little find and uh, we'll see what else we get here. Well, Jason's working along the sidewalk here. Said he got, uh, what'd you get, a weedy? Yep, one very deep either. He's been cleaning it up. Did you get a date? I think it's a 1939, but I'm not. Nice. No, I, I can't quite make it out, so. Well, there you go. That's the uh, first old coin out of here. Yeah, we have high hopes for this place. It doesn't seem to have been hunted. The signals are just everywhere. Well, I called Jason over because I was uh, moved over to the sidewalk along the street and uh, got a 19, only two, three inches down. And I think I got a pretty awesome compact. It looks like it's got a lot of stuff on it. Uh, it definitely has some writing on oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Lady, Lady Gray. Huh. How cool Very is cool. that? Very cool. I have never dug one of those. I've never even heard of that one. But it's just a top, but it's the right top. It's the right side. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one with yep, the... that's the side you want. Man, that is really cool. We'll have to look that one up, but uh, definitely early 1900s. Jason came, came up and I said, you got good timing because I just found something. I was getting a 22 and got this little piece of metal that's bent. It says American Veterans on it but it's a kind of tag. I'm gonna straighten it up and clean it up and we'll see if we can get something off of it. Well, it's pretty cool. It's a tag that, it says disabled American veterans and it's a, a tag a veteran would have had on his keychain if it was lost, they can mail it to an address and it'd be returned to him. So, yeah, very cool. pretty cool, definitely has some age to it and uh, we'll keep on going here. Well, I was just going along here, and just an inch or two down, I popped an early weedy, and this one is really clean. That's going to be a 1928 Philadelphia. But look at that, I didn't even wipe the back. Looks fantastic. Yep. So now, we just need to turn one of these into a yeah. quarter. Yeah, yeah, that'd be our... Well, I was digging a target when Jason yelled out at me, skeleton key. Now, I was pretty surprised because Jason had just found his very first and a drop dead gorgeous skeleton key just about a month ago. So I was really surprised he'd already gotten another one. 
But as I walked towards him, he had a strange grin on his face, and I really didn't know what to expect. Well, you might recall Jason scored an amazing skeleton key a couple episodes ago. <laughs> he said he's, he said he's got something similar. I think he's playing a joke on me. But, uh... Oh, no, you weren't, were you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a skeleton key. Yeah, I'm not sure if this one counts or not, but uh, <laughs> I've never found one. Well, congrats, man. That's uh, <laughs> you're, on a, you're on a skeleton key streak here, I'll yeah. tell you what. Well, this next thing was giving me a 15, and uh, it was in the plug, and I went down a couple inches and got myself a nice little, nice little costume jewelry ring, but uh, nice little find. Well, I called Jason over. We're over at the side of the house here, next to this wood pile, and I got a nice high tone. And I saw a flash of silver, and it disappeared in the hole. We'll have to get rid of this beetle. Oops. You're kneeling on my search coil. <laughs> okay, I saw it. Look at there. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Looks like a quarter. a quarter. <sighs> oh, definitely. Yeah. I'll That's tell you awesome. what. I'm going to, uh, I'll tell you what, once you, uh, Take the camera and just, I'll go ahead and spray it down. It looks pretty worn, maybe. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, look at that. That's oh, so, that's that's so cute. cute. Awesome. Oh, it's really worn, but I don't awesome. care. Oh, these are so hard to find. I love the eagle on this one. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Gorgeous. How cool is that? That is awesome. I'll tell you what, I got one last year. Wow, that That's is awesome. awesome. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, thank you. I tell you what, I hate finding it on your permission. Though. No, it's all good. <laughs> it means it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> we know they're here. Well, they're, they're here. You just got to get through the garbage, but yeah. it's worn, but it's beautiful. It's, it's actually my favorite silver coin. Wow. Awesome. Well, just working my way along the side of this house here. It's going to 17, 19, 17. I think I got something pretty cool. Oh, this is pretty neat. Look at this. That is a crucifix. Cro oh, get out of here. It's a pocket knife. <laughs> How crazy is that? It has Jesus on the cross. And look at there. There's a little blade. That is a, that's got to be one of the coolest pocket knives I've ever dug. Wow, that is so neat. Very happy with that. Such a cool find. Well, we have another mystery solved this week. Thanks to all of you watching last week. You might recall a very odd iron object that I found at the 1925 house in last week's video. Well, it seemed I was among the very few that actually didn't know what this was. A lot of you responded, and Mike Roby was the very first one to let me know that this was the front plate to a very old hand crank meat grinder. Well, a huge thank you goes out to Mike Roby and everyone else that helped make this mystery find a mystery solved. Well, this one was giving me a 17. It was just a couple inches down in the plug. I thought it was just going to be a penny, but it's actually a pretty cool button. Probably off a sundress. And a little flower in the center. And then uh, it's missing the, uh, the back, but that's probably 30s or 40s, so uh, nice little find.
Well, I tell you, the Equinox never ceases to impress me. Uh, just going down a row, got a 13 and pulled out this huge rusty nail, but it was still picking up a signal underneath that nail and it was this tiny little ball button, a little sew on button here. Not an old ball button, but uh, probably 30s. But I just found it uh, maybe a foot from that sundress button, so but that's really impressive that it focused on that, even with that huge nail right on top of it. Well, I checked the hole after I got the ball button and the nail out, and there was still a 12 in there, so that ball button wasn't exactly what the machine was focused on. It was focused on that. Hopefully you can see it. I popped it out from the sidewall. It definitely looks like a nickel. Yeah, I got an old nickel. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Yep. Is that a buff? I think it is. Wow, the Indian another head right one. There. We got one last time. Yeah, awesome. Yep, there's the Indian head. Yep. I think I got a date too. Yeah, definitely. Yep, 1934. A little hard for me to see. Yeah, I can't tell for sure. but. I'll be darned. Oh Look yeah, at that, that looks nice. Yeah, 1930, I think it is 34. Got a 35 last week. Yep. With that silver dollar video. Yep. So now I got the Good buffalo sign. out of the way. There's a, there's a silver Good dollar sign. coming up next. Yep. Well, it looks like I got lucky again. Uh, I dug a signal here. It was just a piece of garbage. And I got a signal over here. It was giving me a 14. I dug down, popped it out. And I think I saw the flash of a buffalo. I might have another one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Another buffalo nickel. That is crazy. Love it. Yeah, this place has definitely not been hunted, but there's a lot of a lot of other targets to get through to get down to this stuff, but this is definitely going to be a no date. Buffalo very worn, but awesome to find nonetheless. Well, I was just continuing on this row and uh, got a 1314. Dug down and said it was still in the dirt, so I played around with it and out popped. Pretty cool little garter buckle. Nice. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hopefully this one will have a maker's mark on it or something. Yeah. I've been getting lucky with them lately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dates on them and everything. Mm -hmm. But that, that's real nice now. Of course, this would have held up women's stockings or men's socks. And, uh, yeah, the baseball players used to wear them back then, too. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I'm working along the sidewalk here, and I pulled out like four pieces of rusty metal, and then still told me there was something up in the drop cloth hiding under this. Was check it out, another buffalo nickel. I think Jason's ready to kill me now. <laughs> He's like, I want one. No, we gotta, we just gotta find everything. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Look at that. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, oh, full date too. Yeah, it does. Is that a 37? Yeah, I can see it from here. 37. Come on, let's count the legs. <laughs> uh, boy, I don't know. Uh, ooh, that's a tough one to tell. Yeah. I don't see the fourth leg. I'm going to entertain that thought for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have one in my collection, but I didn't dig it. Ah, uh, there it is. A four-legged buffalo. But that's awesome. That's probably the nicest one I've dug. Look at the a lot of detail on the hair and everything. Yeah, that is. Well, Jason got something cool. He won't tell me what it is, so. Ooh. Oh, man, that is nice. That is a sweet pocket. Oh, boy, that's really nice. Nice pocket knife. Wow, the sides are awesome. It's even got the blade in it, yeah, but. Oh, that thing's awesome. I don't awesome. know if I can even move it, but. No. But look at that. That's beautiful. It was not what I expected in that hole. Yeah, but hey. Well, you don't find them in that good of shape very often, so congrats on that one.
Well, I was going along here and got a about a 25 on the Equinox 800, and I dug down. I said it was in the plug, and I guess maybe four or five inches. Uh, got a nice early weedy. I checked the date, and it's going to be 1918. Well, I got something pretty darn nice. One of my favorite things to dig. Uh, I was getting a 14, went down and uh, saw a nickel, looked kind of shiny. And uh, yeah, I got a war nickel. So believe it or not, it's so worn, I can't even see the mint mark. Okay. <laughs> that takes some doing to wear the mint. I tell you what, these people really use their coins here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they've been used right up. There we go, 1943. Yeah, awesome. Boy, that thing's shining. Yeah. Well, as I was detecting, someone I knew came walking up and we started chatting a bit. It turned out that he owned several properties just a couple blocks away. Now, these were old cabins or old small homes built in the 1930s that they rented to hunters back in the day. He'd since purchased them, restored them, and they were rentals once again. Well, after we talked, he gave me full access to all of his properties there. So I got out for a couple hours of metal detecting. I found a couple things that I just had to share it with you. Well, this one's giving me a nice tight 32, 33 signal. And uh, I dug the plug's head was off to the side and I went ahead and popped it. And it wasn't the half dollar I was hoping for, but I think I have a gigantic token. I have no idea, it might be Mardi Gras or something. It's, it reminds me of that. Definitely looks like it has a building or something on it. I'll tell you what, let me spray it, get it brushed off, and uh, I'll let you see what it is. But uh, it might be a gold doubloon. I see some gold there. <laughs> well, it is a uh, New Orleans token. It says City of New Orleans has a crest there. And then the other side, I think it's down that same mark square, but it says New Orleans, the city that care forgot. Well, I tell you what, I got a, finally got something good in the hole here. It's been a little slow to start with, uh, but I started hunting in between these houses here and finding some original dirt. This one shocked me because it was giving me a 22 to 25. I was looking for a wee penny maybe, and check out what is in the hole. A silver quarter. And, uh, it was on edge, and I guess it was ringing really low. I'll be darned, look at that. I will take it, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a Washington, but I haven't really looked at it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's uh, just made it 1964 last year. Very cool, I will definitely take that. I just had to come back and show you this quarter. This has to be one of the highest grade silver Washington's I have ever dug. Look at the amazing detail on this. And where do you see the reverse? Is that not incredible? Holy cow. Absolutely gorgeous coin. Well, after I dug that up, it dawned on me that just a couple weeks ago at the 1925 house, I had dug one of the most worn Washington quarters I had ever found. And now I just dug one of the highest grade Washington quarters that I'd ever found. And I thought it would be fun to show you them side by side. Well, we had a blast and a lot of nice old coins were recovered. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this episode. And now here's one more look at all the very cool items that we found during this episode. Well, I love those old pictures, but when you can see those old color pictures, it really makes the scenes of yesteryear come to life. And I have some amazing ones coming up in just a few seconds. And remember, it's history that makes a find a treasure. And I can't wait to see you back here next week on Finding America.